it's evident that the, the role of the Human Rights Center of the University of Padua and linked to the Jean Monnet Share and the Center of Excellence is uh, of utmost importance. And I'm not saying it uh, to please uh, all uh, professors and the people they are involved in, but uh, as a matter of fact, we are so many times uh, focused on uh, the quantity uh, in our society, macroeconomics and so on, but fundamental for dignity of people, for uh, the quality of life, the immaterial aspect. So, in this way, the Human Rights Center is uh, 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 a leading initiative uh, for not only this region, for this uh, university community, but for all people in Europe. And that's the reason why, uh, as former president of the Committee of the Regions, uh, uh, being uh, involved uh, still in the citizens' uh, institutional and external affairs of the committee, but also uh, in uh, my capacity as uh, a special advisor to the European Commission, I'm uh, really impressed by the way the Human Rights Centre is uh, acting in a conceptual way. And uh, uh, for me it's also important to notice that uh, the interdisciplinary approach yeah, is so inspiring. Because more and more uh, people and programs are in fact uh, organized uh, behind closed doors, yeah, disconnected to other policies and so on. So the integrative uh, way, the coherent way, uh, the inclusive way you are dealing with uh, this fundamental issue of human rights is uh, for me very important. And uh, I'm always saying, even when democracy is not fulfilled, and we know that it is a work in progress, in any case we have to respect the fundamental rights because fundamental rights, human rights, are individual rights. And so I can uh, really, uh, and I want to pay tribute to uh, the Human Rights Center. Overlooking the two days of the workshop, uh, it's not the first time that I'm uh, coming to uh, uh, these workshops uh, we are involved in uh, since uh, three or four years. I have to say that uh, uh, the, uh, the coalition between academia, between practitioners, politicians, civil servants, the also formal and informal way the uh, workshop was organized is so important. We got uh, uh, discussion analysis about concepts. We were dealing uh, at this uh, workshop uh, on the fundamentals, uh, human rights and education. Education to intercultural dialogue. We got uh, the impressions, the testimonials of uh, uh, people on the ground. They are working day to day with young people, with other people, with uh, a lot of uh, uh, persons contributing to the human rights uh, issue and intercultural dialogue that uh, I have to say that for me it was a new uh, an, uh, opening a window of opportunities to act together. And evidently, as uh, I was saying in my introductory lecture, uh, it's important to notice that uh, it has to be based on the important principle of subsidiarity, because subsidiarity is about democracy. Democracy is about good governance, one governor. And uh, there, I believe that we are now in a multi-leveled governance uh, concept, in a multi-channel uh, and in a multi-actorship. And that was for me so important and impressive during this uh, uh, workshop uh, yesterday and today uh, that uh, uh, it was managed by uh, the professors, inspired by Professor Papiska, who is a uh, a really unbelievable uh, guide uh, towards uh, all others in Europe and also Professor Maschia and uh, Professor Bekemans that uh, it was not just a pleasure to be here but I learned a lot and that is what uh, we have to do we are part of the permanent learning society thank you so much